Hey Raider Nation, it's Joseph for Zany62. So what seems to be uh, breaking news coming out of the Raiders training camp, they have placed 10 defensive players on the COVID-19 list. Uh, reportedly coming out, uh, I was listening to local radio here in Los Angeles, and Vinny Monsignor from the Las Vegas Review Journal uh, was one of their correspondents that came on and said that Cleveland Farrell had tested positive for COVID-19 on Tuesday. What happened was they had gathered on Monday, the team did, outside of the training facility, and 10 of those players happened to be Jonathan Abram, David Irving, Hankins, and a few others. So what that means is that no one's practicing until Sunday. So we have the Chiefs on Sunday. It's a Sunday night game. It's a big game. The NFL is of 3 o'clock Pacific time, has not ruled out uh, playing the game. It's still on schedule. But this goes back to what I mentioned prior to even training camp started. Uh, I predicted this type of things would happen, where you have a massive COVID-19 outbreak, uh, mainly because they're not following the protocols. You know, whatever happens inside the training camp obviously is not happening outside the facilities because they're doing whatever they want. Once they leave practice, they're not going straight home. They're not taking care of themselves. They're out partying. They're out doing things. They're getting together, socializing. And who else is part of that bubble? They might have 10 of uh, their fellow teammates, but if they're socializing, who from the outside is coming into that gathering? You know, are they inviting their girlfriend, their girlfriend's friends, X, Y, and Z? I mean, I mean, who knows what's going on? But according to uh, the Raider news, according to every news outlet that covers the Raiders, the Raiders have 10 defensive players out in the COVID list Cleveland Farrell himself tested positive for COVID-19 on Tuesday, which leaves us in a big dilemma. The fact that we're playing the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, they're practicing. We're not going to be able to practice, and it's going to be an interesting game, if at all, the game happens. Because this is something that we should have been prepared for. We should have took extra cautious that we were going straight home and not risking the potential COVID-19 to go into their essentially their own training camp bubble and affect it in the players. But obviously, they're not following rules. How many times have the Raiders broke protocol rules, have got fined more than any other team, and you consistently have John Gruden claiming that they're doing everything they can, that they're doing an excellent job? Well, obviously not. And, you know, and I'm getting tired of hearing that from the coach because you would think that he would have a stricter guideline for these players because who knows what they're doing once they leave the training facility. I mean, we're we're dealing with a unique situation this year, and you would think that they would take extra precautions so something like this would not happen. You got to think that if this COVID-19 consistently happens with the players, how is that going to affect our playoff run? So to keep it here on Zenny 62 as it reported, 10 defensive players on the COVID-19 list. Uh, three of those right off the bat that I can tell you is uh, Jonathan Abram, David Irving, and Hankins, as well as obviously Cleveland Farrell, who tested positive on Tuesday. So keep it here on Zenny 62 and don't forget to like and subscribe.